Plus, we have new developments tonight in the crash that killed seven people Thursday in downtown El Paso. Border Patrol tells ABC7 the crash was a result of a suspected human smuggling attempt. We also know that three people in the car were undocumented. Two were from Mexico, another from Guatemala. Tonight, we are also learning about the identities of the other two people killed in the crash from family and friends who've been at the site paying their respects. ABC 7's Brianna Chavez brings us the latest. It's hard for us, but I know he's here with us right now. Balloons hanging off caution tape left over from the scene of the crash that killed seven people Thursday morning. The family of 18-year-old Gustavo Cervantes, who believe he was in the car, want answers. They haven't told us nothing right now. We're still waiting. Family and friends of 16-year-old Yadira Barrera and 19-year-old Jorge Acosta believe they were also killed. They say that it's just too early to be able to determine if it's my daughter or not. But from what I understand, uh, it's looking and it's pointing that way to maybe that it is her. They saw his tattoo of his kid and the documents and that it was him and that's it. I can't believe it still. I just don't think it could have been him. Border Patrol says Santa Teresa agents noticed the car that crashed leave an area known for, quote, alien smuggling activity. The vehicle sped away and was later encountered in El Paso, Texas, by agents assigned to the El Paso station, who activated emergency lights and sirens to conduct a vehicle stop. The driver of the vehicle continued driving eastbound on Pasano Drive at a high rate of speed. Human smuggling is not a victimless crime. This is a tragic loss of life for our El Paso community. We can only speculate and we really don't know what's happening and that's what's been mind boggling about the whole situation that we just, it's just, it's just really hard to try to take a grasp of, of everything that really happened. Brianna Chavez, ABC7.